Hello everyone, welcome to episode number 12 of the Build Podcast and today we'll be going through Zen Coding, which is a fast and productive way of churning out a large amount of HTML in a very shortcut method. So let's go and visit the website first. So if we search for Zen Coding, in Google we will come up to this page. And this page will basically give us a lot of links how we can install Zen Coding in various plugins. So for this episode, we will be focusing on the Sublime Text and we'll be installing it in Sublime Text and create a little project where we can use Zen Coding. So the project for this uh, episode is a little bit of logic gates and uh, a few tables. And of course, as usual, it will also have a very beautiful responsive design. Now we will see how we can churn out the HTML very easily with Zen Coding. So let's get started. I will first come to my desktop and uh, let me just look at the files and I've already prepared a folder for logic gates. Let me open this up in Sublime Text. Right, so this folder has nothing much except for three pictures. Let me just show you what are the three pictures. So inside logic gate, I have the three pictures of the three little gates, the AND gate, NOT gate and the OR gate. Next, what I will do is I will browse through the packages and install Zen coding. Now, if you go to packages, of course, uh, this is alphabetically ordered, but I do not have Zen coding as of now. So let me go ahead and install the package. In order to do that, I will do Shift Command P and this will uh, fire up a little uh, window. And over there, I will press install package and enter. Over here, you will see that it will be initiating some uh, repositories. And from here, I will search for Zen coding. There is only one of them, so I'm gonna just press enter and install it. Once again, let's see what it says here at the bottom. It says Zen coding successfully installed. And now when I come to browse packages, let's see whether Zen coding is present. Yes, Zen coding is right there. So let's get started with Zen coding then. The very first thing I will do is of course create a new file called index.html. Index.html. And another one I'm gonna create is called style.css. Right, so now let's get started with Zen coding. The very first Zen coding shortcut is HTML colon five. And now after this, if you press tab, it will kind of churn out the entire markup that is needed, a very rough markup to get started on your HTML. So let me just write the title, logic gates, and let me come down to the body. Next, what I'll do is, of course, link my style uh, style.css, and for this, there's another shortcut called link.css, and let me tab it. And there you go, it's expanded. I'll just make sure that it is the same file on the same folder. Now, how do we go about learning the syntax for Zen coding and also the different uh, HTML uh, elements that we can use? So let me show you uh, two very uh, short links here. On the official Zen coding link, there is this page called HTML selectors. So over here you will see they will give examples and after you press tab, this is what the HTML is generated. It's really easy to pick up and it's a relatively short page. The second page is on the, let me see, on the syntax. Oh, this was the same page, so let me go on to another page. This is where you can uh, churn up uh, the HTML elements. For example, for uh, just now, what I was using was HTML colon five to generate a markup, a starter markup for our HTML page. And of course, uh, right now I also used link colon CSS, which will churn out this. So I highly recommend you to go to this website itself and not only check out the plugins for other text editors, but as well as the syntax, as well as uh, some tags that you can use in Zen coding. All right, so back to coding back here. And let me just uh, open up uh, index.html just to see how it looks in the browser. All right, of course, it's empty for now. So let me go back. The next thing that I will do is uh, show you how Zen coding works. So inside my body tag, um, firstly I'll go and press div and then tab. 
notice how it expands automatically but the power comes here like this if you do div dot wrapper and then you press tab it will automatically give you the class wrapper or if you do div hatch wrapper and you come at the end it will give you this or if you do dot uh, let's say main and it will give you an id or a class so you kind of get the picture so for now what we will do is uh, do a div dot wrapper uh, and then we'll expand it and over here I also want inside a heading logic gates so in Zen coding, there is another pretty neat thing that we can do is simply like this. Diff dot wrapper. If you want to have a child, then you just do a greater than sign and then you do H1. And if you want to write what's inside H1, you just put it in braces and you put the logic gates. And then you tab pretty neat with just a few amount of coding you can get the entire HTML markup right so just to get started I will insert in some Google fonts and uh, some basic styles for our CSS let's see how it looks like all right that's it nothing much and I will insert in some Google fonts and uh, some basic styles so let's see how it looks like in the browser Okay, so there you go, we have some basic styles. Now let's go back to our index.html and now we will try to churn out the tables that we see right here in our project. The heading is done and now for some tables. So just now we already learned how to create a simple uh, open tag and close tag, but what if we want it three times? In Zen coding, we just do asterisks and then three and we will have it three times, that's pretty neat. And uh, what if we want uh, each of this table to have a rule of rows? So what we can do is rules dash rows. And let's see how it looks like. This is how you can add in attributes inside the square brackets. Inside table row, I would also like to have a table header. And this header will now have a call span of, let's say, three. And I would want to put in the word or gate. Let's expand this and see how it looks. All right, it looks pretty neat. And of course, we have or gate, we have and gate, and we have not gate. So that's pretty much uh, the table structure. Let's see how it looks like in our browser. At this point, let me go ahead and add in some table styles. Save and come back and view it. All right, so the table is now becoming more and more visible. Next, what we'll do is come back to Sublime Text and I'd like to go through this thing called cones that, uh, that comes with Zen coding. So for this, I will press in Control Option Enter. And once you do that, you will see this little cones that appearing right here. This will enable us to type in our Zen coding and see live how it's being loaded. Let's look at our original design first. So after the heading here, we have to insert in the pictures. So let's see how we can do that very quickly with Zen coding and especially by the cones. So I'm going to press in enter here where I'm going to start a new row. So let me just start coding. The new row will have, of course, TR. And inside the TR, I'm going to have a TD. But this TD will once again stretch a column of 3 equals to 3. And inside this TD now, I have an image. And this image also has a source. And of course, all the source will uh, refer to the IMG file. And inside IMG, they are all having a very similar pattern of names. So I'm going to put in dash gate.png. And of course, there is also a title, which I can call it by gate. Okay, so now you can see very quickly here you have the Zen coding. And here you have the HTML that is being churned out. Now all you need to do is just copy this here and come back to the next two rows and press tab, 
come back to the next table and press tab and of course then you can go on and change the names and so on and so forth let me just do that very quickly and look in the browser for our current ongoing project and there you have it we have the heading with the little picture that is uh, done with very quickly with Zen coding let's look back at the design for now the original one and here we see that we need about five rows and three columns so let's quickly create that with Zen coding so once again I'm going to come back to my cones this time I will have TR times five and inside each of the table rows I have table data times three so you just notice how the markup is being generated so quickly here so all I'm going to do is copy this and go to my AND gate, paste this in tab, and next I will go to the NOT gate, and this time I can also type in the command here. This time let's look at our design. We have three rows and two columns, so TR times three, TD times two. And bam. Here we have the entire HTML structure very quickly generated. Let's look at how our markup looks like of course there is no content so what i'm going to do is i'm going to fill all of this up with the content very quickly and there you have it we have all the content with the ones and the zeros and the a's and the b's and that's how it looks like so as you see it is very quickly done here let me do just some little bit of polishing which is for the styles to make it responsive and for that I will go to my style.css and paste in some media queries All right so that's how it looks like and uh, I hope you enjoyed uh, Zen coding and it's so easy to pick up and so easy to learn that you'll be finding it using a uh, very breeze so lastly let me just go through a few resources here Firstly is a cheat sheet that um, Aether.ru provided. It's a PDF file that you can load and uh, have a look at it. Secondly, of course, is the main link for Zen coding with the links for syntax and the different tags. And thirdly, there is also an article by designshack.net. Can't get into preprocessors, try Zen coding. So this is a very good article as well on how to get started on Zen coding and what it is and a little bit of brief. So that's it about Zen coding here today. And finally, let me go through the build link of this week. Build link of this week is premium pixels, premiumpixels.com. Premiumpixels.com is a very beautiful and very resourceful website because Orman Clark the talented designer who created premium pixel puts out loads of design files here and guess what they are all available for free download i've downloaded a lot of them and learned uh, a few tips and tricks from orman clark and his beautiful psd designs for example if you go to the latest one which is on 21st august you can download it completely and or you can uh, sign in or you can register an account and it's really easy and beautiful and of course uh, follow Orman Clark on Twitter itself as well Orman Clark and he also tweets a lot of design and uh, technology tweets which I thoroughly love so go ahead and check out premiumpixels.com for the build link of the episode and that's it for this week so for everything else, go to build-podcast.com. We have links to the GitHub, the RSS, the iTunes, and the videos all at the left-hand corner. Do go and subscribe it and have a week of new tool every week. All right, that's it for now. Goodbye.